Good morning, LMR Collins 1966 here. And today we're gonna to be making grilled cheese sandwiches. Thanks to my friend Cashew Paul, who did a review last week. And um, I've been wondering what a good salt and vinegar grilled cheese sandwich would be like. Uh, so I'm gonna be trying that one for sure. I also have some Black Forest ham. I have some Swiss cheese. I have some regular sliced cheddar, some mozzarella, uh, real mayonnaise, of course. And I also have a couple of different cheeses here that I've never tried before. So we're not going to mess this up with anything, only the cheese, and see uh, what kind of a flavor that has. And um, of course the jalapeno, I've never tried it. So I'm going to put together some sandwiches, we're going to fry them up and uh, come back and we will certainly... Uh, see how it all tastes. Looking forward to it. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're back. And as you can see, I have a little butter in the pan, a good nonstick pan. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the uh, cheddar and salt and vinegar uh, grilled cheese. I already have some uh, kettle cooked salt and vinegar chips kind of coarsely crushed and uh, we're going to begin by putting a little mayonnaise on the outside of the bread. Um, that was one of the tips that I was given on a local Facebook group here, Newfoundland Food Group. Uh, if you want a good toasty uh, grilled cheese. They said instead of putting butter to uh, actually do mayonnaise. So we're gonna spread the butter that we're gonna fry it in right here. Just a skim. We're going to lay the mayonnaise side down. We're also going to Mayonnaise the other side. Not a lot, just enough to brown it up. There we go. So we're just going to use some good old uh, cheddar here. I have some shredded um, cheddar, white and yellow. So we will. Generously, we need lots of cheese. So that's the way it's looking right now. Now this could be a disaster. I'm going to uh, put the salt and vinegar chips Spread them right to the outside edge because you want to get a taste of the chip and the crunch of the chip in every bite. Alrighty, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. We're going to 